Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. I hope everyone is enjoying going through the Bible in a year. Now today, we did Genesis chapters 9 through 12. I did mine already, and I will share with you my key verse that stood out to me. And below in the comments, I'd like for you to stick out a verse in those four chapters that kind of jumped out at you. And I've written it in my journal, as you can see, right there. And then I got today's devotion from what I read. Okay, let's get started. Key verse for me that stood out was 9 verse 16. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look at it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. Ah, uh, I love a rainbow. I sure do. I'm sure you do too. It just lifts my spirits up when I see that that rainbow in the sky, and I also am re remembered of God's promises. Okay, personal application for me. Lord, let my life as Noah's be a blessing to you. God, you have nothing to be ashamed of as you have covered our shame with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for food to eat and clothes to wear. I love that you gave us the radiant rainbow as a promise to remember. Your love for us has no bounds. I am blessed by your remembrance of all your promises. Your word overflows with signs and wonders that overflow from your word. Lord, may my language be pleasing to you. Scatter those who plan evilness in every corner of the world. Babble them, Lord. As Abraham, lead me as to where I need to go. May I offer my life as a sweet sacrifice. Keep the words of my heart upon my lips. Even when I am in danger, I will keep true to your word, your teachings. I hope you enjoyed that devotion today. I thoroughly enjoyed doing my study again. Now, tomorrow, Thursday, you will read chapters 13 through 15. It's only three chapters on Thursday. And below in the drop down box, I've listed each day of the week and what you should be reading. So in case you don't know or need to look there, you can. All right, everyone. Um, soon we'll be approaching our first week of study. Wow. Um, like I say, let me know how you're enjoying your study and put that key verse down below for me. All right, I do have some yarn to share with you today. This was on clearance uh, about a year, year and a half ago when my daughter and my husband gave me that beautiful gift of money to go buy yarn. And Joanne's was having a very super sale. I got this Red Heart Super Saver Fair Isle. And this is called Parrot Fair Isle. Now, I believe they do sell this online now. It's available online only. I got this for like 75 cents a skein. I got another one here. The label's gone, but it's the same one. And I'm thinking of maybe making a summer scarf because I think all these little colors, I think this is going to really be pretty. Now on the label, they do have a scarf. It's kind of a color block scarf. Isn't that pretty? I might... Well, I might do that one. That one looks pretty cool. And let me see. There is... How many yards is in here? Well, you know, when you're in a hurry, you never can find something. Oh, here it is. 236 yards. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking pretty soon, maybe um, on the first day of spring, I'll go ahead and maybe start... A nice spring scarf for me or maybe a shawl I think I've got some more of these I'll have to dig into my yarn I've got yarn in my closet 
it's in bins. I've got over here in this corner two big bins. I have enough yarn to last me for a very long time and I've been working on using out of my stash to kind of get things down to a more reasonable size. Now I do have a lot of scrap yarn too. I will get that together in the next couple of days and hopefully show you my scrap yarn and I'm thinking about making that granny scrap shawl that Crochet House Mouse is making. I, that's really calling to me, so we'll see. Tonight, I'm going to work on my Elena wrap, the second one that I'm making. I'll show you my progress tomorrow on that. Everyone, I hope you have a blessed day. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. My new subscribers, welcome. Welcome into our family. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. And Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow on God, Crochet and Chatter. Bye, everyone.